Hello, this is Arthur Nix, and I'm a heavy bid contract trainer. And today I'm going to talk about a very common mistake that I see new users make, but really anybody can make this mistake. And it's a very easy one to trap, and it involves a bid quantity and takeoff quantity. Now, probably 60 to 70 percent of heavy bid users keep this, these quantities the same. Uh, in fact, they they really don't see a reason to change, you know, to have different quantities. It's more in the realm of the public bidding that you get into this. Uh, but even a lot of public bidders don't change the quantities; they keep them the same. So, if you are uh, that type of esti estimator or that type of company, you want to make sure that these two, you know, that it does stay the same. So, what can happen here is. If you change after you have imported in the bid items, and of course, when you do the import, the takeoff will default to the bid quantity. The first, if you do like an Excel import, uh, and of course, Ashtaware or anything else, um, it will default, the takeoff will default to the bid quantity. Now you come back later, and let's say there's a change in quantities, and you type it in, and then you just down arrow, not thinking about it, and you can see nothing happens because the takeoff quantity is still the same. Now, the good thing is if the takeoff quantity changes, there will be a message because it will ask you if you want to factor it. That means change, take you know the, the old quantity, divide into the new quantity, and then you have a factor times the all of the uh, activity and resource quantity. So uh, and you could say yes, and it will do that. So there is some kind of a heads up when you change this, but not this. All right. And one of the things that can happen here is that the indirects, if you miss this, and now you have a bid quantity, takeoff quantity difference, then the indirects in the final bid will be incorrect. It won't be the total that you think it is. And I'll show you this right now. Here in tree view, and I already have unbalanced this several places. Uh, here you see one right here, the Santer sewer, uh, takeoffs 900, bid quantities 3,100. All right, and I have it right here uh, with the site excavation. If I come to the tree view, and I see I have indirect costs of 71,558. Okay, now this will translate to, of course, the summary. There it is, indirect 7, 8, 7, 71, 381, right? 71, 381, there it is, 71, 381. Uh, now remember, I'm, I am talking about, in the comprehensive version, you can actually have a setting that when you come into here, it will be on bid quantity. But probably most of our customers keep it on takeoff quantity at the summary screen. So you see, everything's fine here. But when I go to bid pricing, Okay, right now everything is just going to be at balanced, right? I haven't unbalanced anything. And I go to my indirect right here, my indirect column. You can see I have 62,285. So it is a different number because of the factory. So that's why I caution people who, you know, really don't use takeoff Bitcoin differences, but they have indirects because indirects and also the add-ons, if you run add-ons, they also will factor. All right, here I have 65,132. And here we got 65,862. Not too much there, okay? But the indirects is quite a bit on the factory. All right, so just be aware of that. Uh, bond will also factor. Uh, when you when you uh, when you go when you run your spread, so how do we trap that? How do we you know see that? First, what I would do first line of defense, I always say is go to tree view, come to display options, and let's make a bid item highlighter. All right, I'm just going to go new. I'm going to call this bid quantity, bid quantity takeoff quantity difference. Just give it a title. And then I come down here. Most of the time you could do under runs and over runs. Nothing wrong with that. You could have two of them right here, two of these. I'm just going to make it both. And I'm going to highlight it with 
a nice green color and then I'm also going to bold it to really make it stick out. So here we are, I'm in the highlighter. You notice this is user specific. So everybody can do their own thing. And it's under the bid item tab, new. And then all I gotta remember is click this both right here. All right, even gives me a preview right here. All right, what it's gonna look like, I put okay. And I can see right away, I can say, oh look, I got bid item, big quantity, take off quantity differences. I need to go back to the bid item setup and correct that, all right? Let's look at another area. Now, now obviously in the bid pricing screen, you're gonna see this, right? You're gonna have your underruns and your overruns are gonna be in different colors and that's a user setting, okay? So this would be, but I don't want you to catch it at the end, at the pricing side. I want you to catch it right here at the tree view, right? And early on, you would see this right away. Another place that you can see this is the check estimate. And I always tell people, always do this, run a check estimate, that's the flashlight, or query estimate, okay, same thing. I come down here to the bid item tab, and I see right away I got bid, takeoff, difference, and I got three of them, right? And I can click it and I can see, oh look, there's my takeoff quantity, there's my big quantity. I know right away which one they are. I could even right click, send to Excel, so I get a list out in Excel, or if it's a very long, complicated, many, you know, hundreds and hundreds of bid items, you can create the checklist and actually go and click this green arrow right here and just go through each one and review those right there and just go right to them. Um, so that would at least give you the list so that you could come back to the bid item setup and then correct that here. But you notice there's no way of highlighting this. The only way I could really do it, and I probably would for like a very large estimate, is right click over here send to Excel and then just write a formula. And then if, you know, I would write a rule saying, hey, if it's different, if it's not zero, highlight, you know, and I would do that in Excel. But most of the time, I, you know, for most bids, I probably would just come over here to the tree view and right away I see the highlight right here. Now I will tell you that you can also set up some other highlights. One I like, just while we're on the subject, Let's do activity. And I like to make the activity stick out a little bit. So I call it activity right here. And then what I'll do is I'll come down here and I'll italicize it. And I'm going to select a different text color. Nothing radical. I'm just going to go with a blue. So now when I come back here and open it up, it kind of really makes it stand out a little more. Um, so, and you can also make the bid items bold. You can make the indirects a different color. I try not to turn this into like a Christmas tree, which is very easy to do, but there are some things you could do to make yourself make this a little easier on the eyes. And so I kind of, I like to do that. Um, and then, uh, now I still can see it. You can see that it is a little harder to see there. Uh, but I can still see that. Uh, the other thing I would do is maybe add colors here. And that could be, I believe I can reach that right here in display options. Use colors preferences right here. And then I can set my colors. These are user right here. Okay. And then I could come down here and I could say, okay, I'm going to have, oh, red for labor. Inside equipment, I'm going to have yellow. Outside equipment, I might go with green. Construction material, uh, let's go aqua. Subcontractor, let's go green. And then I'm probably skip these three and just go with permanent material. And let's go with the blue. All right, so all it does is when I come back out, I get out of tree view and I come back in. And I go back into an activity, it just gives me a little splash of color right here. Nice to kind of break it up, especially if you have 
a lot of items, you know, where you just, you know, really you're going to scroll down. It's just so many, so much material or equipment or labor, and it just breaks it, you know, kind of breaks it up a little bit for you. All right. Well, again, this is Arthur Nix with EWKS, and uh, I hope this will help you uh, in your estimating effort.